viewer Linda Goodfellow asks, I'm interested in adopting a smooth coat chihuahua pup and would like to know how much they molt hair and whether or not it creates a mess on the furniture. So first of all, I think we should talk about shedding. If your chihuahua experiences a lot of shedding from time to time, you may be experiencing seasonal shedding. Now, chihuahuas do shed all year round and they require regular grooming and brushing. Each sweetie pie is gonna be a little bit different, just kind of depending on their genetic makeup. But in most cases, the long coats are gonna require brushing at least twice a month, just to get rid of all that excess hair. But twice a year, chihuahuas go through seasonal shedding. And as you would guess, they have a thicker coat in the fall and winter and a thinner coat in the spring and summer. So although they do shed year round, they shed seasonally in the fall when they're getting rid of their summer coat and in the spring when they're getting rid of their winter coat. So you were specifically asking about smooth coat chihuahuas. So although the smooth coats do go through the same seasonal shedding periods as the long coats, it's not really as noticeable just because they have less hair. Each one is shorter, doesn't float around, and it's not nearly as thick. And I'll demonstrate that a little bit more in a bit. Now some people claim that chihuahuas are hypoallergenic, now, some people claim that chihuahuas are hypoallergenic, but the truth is no dog is truly hypoallergenic. Keep in mind, it's not the fur that the people are allergic to, it's the dander and the saliva that's attached to the fur. So even smooth coat chihuahuas carry allergens. See my video here to watch more about this. Oh, okay. See my video here to watch more about this. So because you're specifically concerned about the amount of hair that gets on your furniture, I think it is wise for you to get a smooth coat because as I'm about to demonstrate, the smooth coats don't make nearly as much of a need for one of these as the long coats do. <coughs> oh, see? Uh-oh, I oh, have allergies. Goodness. I'll just drink some wine, it'll be fine. So that's how much fur I got after 30 seconds of rubbing Margo on my white shirt. Now let's try Wesley on my black shirt. Hi Wesley, hi. Hi handsome. Easy good boy. Okay, no touching until the timer starts. This is Wesley, and believe it or not, he just got groomed yesterday. And we tried out a new pair of grooming gloves, which I absolutely loved. We already got a, rid of a bunch of his coat that he was shedding. He's shedding like mad right now because it's gotten so hot. And even so, he's still shedding. So now we're gonna try 30 seconds of rubbing Wesley on my black sweater and see how much fur we get. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have a lot of white fur all over my black sweater. And there's all these little pieces floating everywhere because the texture of the smooth of the long coats is just a fluffier and softer texture. So the individual hair is a lot finer and it kind of floats around everywhere and gets dander all over the place. So I've definitely noticed if you have allergies, the long coats make it worse than the smooth coat. So there you have it. I hope I answered your question about the smooth coat and how much they shed. And you know, I know you weren't looking at the long coat, but just so that you know, long coats do have a lot more of the fluff going everywhere. We'll see you guys next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye. Say bye, Wesley. <laughs>